جی بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ونس اگین ہوپ یو پیپل آر فائن بائی دا گریس آف آل مائی اللہ مائی سیلف ابرار احمد بھٹی ٹوڈے آئی ایم بیک ود ون آف دا امپارٹنٹ ٹاپک آف اسٹریٹجک مینجمنٹ سو فار وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ فسٹ تھری چیپٹرز آف اسٹریٹجک مینجمنٹ دا فسٹ چیپٹر واز اباؤٹ این انٹروڈکشن آف اسٹریٹجک مینجمنٹ دا سیکنڈ اینڈ تھرڈ چیپٹرز was about vision and mission statements respectively now we are up to fourth chapter which is about environmental scanning and specifically external environment analysis as you can see in the figure so environmental scanning refers to a process of gathering information about events and their relationships within an organization's internal and external environments The basic purpose of environmental scanning is to help management determine the future direction of the organization. The environmental scanning is divided into two broad parameters that is external environment analysis and internal environment analysis. According to Davis K, external environment analysis refers to all external forces which have a bearing on the functioning of business. According to George and Gluck, the external environment analysis includes factors outside the firm which can lead to opportunities or a threat to the firm. Although there are many factors affect the business, but the most important factors are political, economical, sociological, technological, ecological and legal. while internal environment analysis also referred as internal appraisal organizational audit or internal corporate assessment performed to identify strengths and weaknesses of a firm resources and capabilities the basic purpose is to build on the strengths and overcome the weaknesses in order to avoid the opportunities and minimize the effects of threats Well, the ultimate aim is to gain and sustain competitive advantage in the marketplace. As the firm's external environment is the analysis of those factors which influence a firm's choice of direction and action, and ultimately its organizational structure and internal processes. These factors, which constitute external environment, can be divided into three interrelated subcategories. as you can see in the figure factors in the remote environment factors in the industry environment and factors in the operating environment thus it shows interrelationships between the firm and its remote industry and operating environments in combination these factors form the basis of the opportunities and threats that a firm faces in its competitive environment Let's discuss those factors one by one. First we have remote environment consists of five factors that is economic factors, social factors, political factors, technological factors and ecological factors. These remote environment factors also called as pest or pestel analysis as name describe P for political E for economical, S for sociological, T for technological, and E for environmental, same as ecological, and L for legal obligations. Here, now we will focus on remote environment factors analysis. Later on, I will also share a lecture on pest or pestel analysis. So, remote environment comprises factors. that originate beyond and usually irrespective of operating situation as external environment presents firms with opportunities threats and constraints the first economic factors concern about the nature and direction of the economy in which a firm operates because of the following factors Number 1 consumption patterns which are affected by the relative wealth of various market segments 
Therefore, each firm must consider economic trends in the segments that affect its industry. Secondly, on both the national and international levels, managers must consider the general availability of credit facility. The level of disposable income, in other words, the amount to save or spend after taxation and the tendency of people to spend. Thirdly, economic factors include prime interest rates, inflation rates and trends in the growth of the gross national product. The other aspect of economy is the emergence of new international power brokers that has changed the focus of economic environment. This includes EEC, which is European Economic Community. Similarly, OPEC, Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. NAFTA, North American Free Trade Agreement, etc. These kinds of agreements establish tariffs, free trade, and eliminate quotas for member countries which help member countries to compete effectively in international markets. The second element which affect business organizations is social factors that involves the beliefs, values, attitudes, opinions and lifestyles of persons in the firm's external environment as developed from cultural, ecological, demographic and religious concerns. As social factors change, so does the demand for various types of clothing, books, leisure activities and so on. One of the most profound social changes in recent years has been the entry of women into the labor market. So what is the impact of this? It affected hiring and compensation policies and resource capabilities of employers. Also created demand for a wide range of products and services resulted by their absence from the home. Therefore, those firms who reacted quickly to this social change offered such product and services like foods, microwave ovens, and daycare centers for children. In other words, the absence of female from homes created more demand for these products and services. A second profound social change has been the increasing interest of consumers and employees in quality of life issues. Evidence of this change can be seen in advanced contract negotiations where in addition to the traditional demand for increased salaries, workers also demand for paid leave, flexible working hours or four day work per week. Recreation plans and opportunities for advanced training. The third point is about political factors, where the direction and stability of political factors are very important for managers for formulating company strategy. Political factors define the legal and regulatory parameters within which firm must operate. Such legal and regulatory functions include fair trade decisions, antitrust laws, taxation policy, minimum wage legislation, pollution and pricing policies, administrative checks and balances, and many other actions aimed at protecting employees, consumers, the general public, and the environment. Moreover, tend to reduce the potential profits of firms to benefit and protect firms. In other words, add the limit or benefit the firm. Secondly, political factors 
has a significant impact on supplier function and consumer function. The supplier function is about government decisions regarding accessibility of private businesses to government owned natural resources and national agriculture product will definitely affect the strategies of some firms. The customer function is about government demand for products and services can create, sustain, enhance or eliminate many market opportunities. The fourth set of factors in the remote environment involves technological change. To avoid outdated technology and to promote innovation, a firm must be aware of technological changes that might influence its industry. Creative technological adaptations can suggest possibilities for new products, for improvement in existing products or in manufacturing and marketing techniques. Secondly, a technological breakthrough can have a sudden and dramatic effect on a firm's environment. It may generate sophisticated new markets and products or significantly shorten the predictable life of a manufacturing facility. An attempt to foresee advancements and estimate their impact on an organization's operations is known as technological forecasting. It is about accurately predicting future technological capabilities and their probable impacts to help strategists to face future challenges and capable opportunities. Significantly to protect and improve the profitability of the firm. The most prominent factor in the remote environment is often the mutual relationship between business and the ecology. The term ecology refers to the relationships among human beings and other living things and the air, soil and water that supports them. Moreover, threats to our life supporting ecology cast principally by human activities in an industrial society are commonly referred to as pollution. This pollution changed the global climate, caused change in atmospheric radiation, ozone depletion which causes global warming. Another area of great importance is the loss of habitat and biodiversity constitute a global loss as plants and species become vanished, the life support system will irreparably harmed. Ecological factors also includes air pollution, water pollution, land pollution. So as a major contributor to ecological pollution, businesses is now held responsible through environmental legislation and corporate citizenship, where stakeholders and executives choose this, while public and government require it. In the upcoming lecture we will discuss about the second factor of external environment analysis that is the analysis of industry environment in which we will have an overview of Porter's five forces of industry environment. Till then thanks for listening kindly subscribe and like my channel for instant notifications take care of yourself and others Jazakallah wassalam